You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and I have my friend Arnie Danielson here, or uh, I, I would say art man, but I'll say a man. How's that? <laughs> How's that? Good to see you. It's nice to see you, Mark. How are you? Good. I'm great. Um, you're still doing lots of things in Brockton. Brockton <laughs> Arts and uh, the, the what, what is it called? The Stacy Adams Cultural... The Stacy Adams Cultural Arts Building. We have been tenants for three years. Mm-hmm. The building developers and bankers told me two or three months ago that they had hit the point where they were breaking even and they're no longer concerned about the viability of the building. So it stays as it is. We control the event spaces. We, this is our gallery space. And we are into our 12th art show. We're using the art of a woman named Linda Clave. She paints to live avant-garde jazz music. Mm. And I have mentioned to you before that we are not going to do this year's Downtown Brockton Arts and Music Festival. We are actually going to declare victory. There is so much going on all over the city, everything from the Provo to the Park Association. There's so much stuff going on that we're going to morph the Art and Music Festival into a Brockton Art and Music series. Okay? Love it. The first shot for that we did at the end of July, and we did it with Linda Clave and her two jazz performers, a fellow named Eric Zinman and a guy named Damon Smith. They play piano, percussion, and a very muscular stand-up bass, and watching the three of them perform is like watching high-energy jazz. Nice. It was wonderful. So it drew an audience. We dressed the gallery like a lounge. We invited people to come down, and it was a very, very successful night. The Sunday that would have been the Sunday of the Arts and Music Festival, there will be our second inception and we will be using the Bailey Street Brass Quintet. This is... What's that date? The 26th of August. August 26th, okay. And this, the, these guys are connected to the Brockton Symphony, but they perform independently as the Bra Bailey Street Brass Quintet. They've been with us for two years. And Amy Corum, local piano wizard, I think is going to join us and either do a little bit of introduction or play a finishing set. Now, into is September... That in the evening? That will be in the evening, okay. absolutely. Okay, just checking. Nope, absolutely in the evening. We have formed a relationship with a couple of young men, two of them are members of our board, who call themselves Massive Media. Mm -hmm. And they are promoting a once every eight week music series aimed at Hip Hop Nation. Okay. Same rules. We turn the gallery space into a structured lounge. We work on an invitation-only basis, and we plan on showing off because the desire for some of this type of activity in town is humming up here, mm -hmm. and you know it. Yeah. The desire, what they've done, you're familiar with hashtag nation. Yes. What they're doing now is hashtag 508. They want to turn Brockton into a destination and an occasion place for the kind of art and magic and performance that is exported from here day after day after day after day. And they have my full support in this. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. There will be art. There will be hip hop. There will be jazz. There will be classical. There will be gypsy violin. There will be, there will be, there will be. Food. Absolutely food. Because usually nope. anything connected with nope. this food. Nope, absolutely food. We are working out how that's done now. Our standard gallery presentation is, you know, your fruit, cheese, and nosh, and it's a lost leader. Right. It brings people in, it lets, lets you sit down, and we are, I, I don't know how else to express this, we are endlessly encouraged. The city has responded to this Stacy Adams Cultural Arts Building in a way that has surprised everybody. The people who are walking in the door to use the space are our friends and the neighbors, and they are from all over the world, and it is the coolest thing. And you guys took a space that was an unsafe space, a dead space, and turned it into something wonderful. I am endlessly grateful to Steve Torrey and Howard Meiselman. They took a leap of faith that is unusual. This is all private money. Mm -hmm. These guys are local developers. They do a very, very fine job. They have very loyal tenants and a very loyal crew. And when it came time, they said, what do you think? And I said, I think this is something that we can maybe do. I'm booked all the way through May. Mm. All the way through May. 
Good, so you're going to be a frequent flyer here again because we're going to promote every single one of those things. I know everybody thinks everything's social media, but no, TV, no, it's, people no, it's still not. watch TV. Talking too. to people, yeah. developing audience is extraordinarily complicated. There are so many ways to talk today yeah. that it's almost like talking into a howling blizzard at times trying to draw audience. I'm suggesting to everybody the little old school goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Telephone calls. Yep. Knock on doors, a little face to face. I would love to see you. Yeah. Because one of the things that we deal with is a lot of desire. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to. It's great. I can't wait to see it. It's just so nice that you're doing this. But when it comes time, you're busy. There's an emergency. Oh, it's usually another coverage event. To, it could be something cover. else. <laughs> or or um, so August 26 is the end of my vacation. Uh huh. I get back and uh, unfortunately I have to go to a memorial service at two o'clock down in Falmouth. Well, God help me well, we'll, we'll, to get back. The next but. event in September will be on the 19th. The event after that in October, I believe will be on the 22nd if I have those dates right. But we're gonna look to the third week on a Friday or Saturday night to give people, because quite frankly, this Prova initiative yeah. has absolutely positive, positively demonstrated that there's a willing audience. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. That there was a and, willing audience. And, and I also think I'm going to talk to you more about this, but getting permission from some of the artists to be recorded, mm -hmm. because sometimes musicians like that, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't. No. Okay. I'm, and I'm I don't want us to replace people actually going to the event. I always tell anybody if we're covering anything, go to it too. Go to it first, oh, yes. and then you can relive it on television. Absolutely. You don't have to. You don't have to do one or the other. I'm thrilled. Yourself, a number of us have been kind of banging away at this. We can have a better city if we work at it. Yeah. So for we've a, done that for a while, and we've done it to tremendous success. Our Jacques Mal Art Project with the Haitian Artists Assembly of Massachusetts. We now support an arts academy in Jacques Mal with this project. The project has expanded to an island off the coast called Isle of Ash with a reimagination of a Haitian storytelling initiative. And we now also run a small children's art camp in the hills at a place called Marbiel. Mm. Now, this is a tremendous outreach. We publish books, we sell them, we sell and market the artwork. We purchase supplies, we fuel the artists, we take their product, we market their product again and we do it again. We've done it seven times now. We've sold more than $35,000 worth of artwork in this project. We've sold more than 500 books. Wow. The book is called Migrating Colors. And it is a retrospective of the artists and the artists that we've worked with with the Haitian Artists Assembly. Now, that book. That's a one minute cue. Okay. So I need you to take 30 seconds of it. I'll take 30 seconds. Go. Yeah. No, you take the 30 I'll seconds. take the 30 seconds. And then I have to wrap it up. This book. Yeah. Has had a tremendous impact on people. People have picked it up and gone, my word, I know this guy. Mm -hmm. These people are my neighbors and friends. I had a young woman come to want to cook with me. It turns out her dad, Isaac Pierre, is one of the artists. So you can touch people in very large ways with very small gestures. It's a pleasure to be here, Mark. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.